know I can't believe what she said It went straight to my head I'm like an inspiration With my inspiration Joining us on a brand new TAC Interviews tonight are the people behind Golden Sun Abridged, Reina and Magma Bear. Thank you again for coming on, guys. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. So, how's your evening been so far tonight? Oh, well, it's still uh, afternoon here where I live, but it's been pretty good. Uh, decent here, besides the homework and crap. To get the evening started off, just tell everybody a little bit about yourselves. Um, well, let's see. Uh, I am a college student, yeah, but um, I'm, let's see, I'm thinking about going into either video editing as a profession or voice acting as a profession. I'm not entirely sure. I'm kind of contemplating between uh, either or um uh let's see about me well i actually been voice acting for almost two years now and i recently started college this year so i'm majoring in graphic design um hopefully when i graduate after that i could go into my huge passion which is game art and design because i just love video games so much i actually want to make them for my voice acting um inspiration it's actually um rena chan who's you can know for who voices like a lot of people like princess peach and other places you see so yeah she's like my huge inspiration i started that and plus i was just bored the next question is what gave you guys the inspiration to do golden sun abridged when i decided to do golden sun abridged uh i kind of i knew that a uh, abridging was like a huge thing starting to become a huge thing and i was wondering what could i abridge but uh, before Golden Sun, actually, I was doing another abridged series, uh, Teen Titans abridged, with a group of people. And we put out a first episode, and then the team kind of just died off from that. But I kind of still wanted to uh, do abridging, so I was wondering, gee, what can I do? Um, I didn't know a whole lot of anime back then, and I still kind of don't. But And so I kind of uh, you know, just decided on a, a abridging one of my favorite uh, games uh, when I was younger, and that was Golden Sun. So that's how I uh, uh, decided to do that. So uh, and uh, well, Rena uh, didn't uh, come in until like about the fourth episode. And uh, let's see, how did we meet? It was uh, Golden Sun Realm Forums. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, we uh, actually uh, Atreus V uh, was doing a, uh, a Golden Sun dub. And since that, he's uh, very good at hacking into Golden Sun. He actually uh, got together a whole bunch of guys uh, for auditions and stuff. And uh, uh, we fan-dubbed kind of uh, Golden Sun, but only at the part where it was uh, at the storm. And uh, he actually put that into the game to where uh, – the uh, to what we were saying actually when you were playing the game, uh, then you can hear what we were saying, as in like the the characters and stuff, instead of just like yeah. uh, a video onto YouTube. That kind of uh, surprised us a little bit. He kind of well, kept it a when secret. I first, well, when I first saw Atreus making the topic, I was like, oh my god, I'm so bored. And then I decided to just audition for Jenna and the others because honestly, I wasn't a huge fan of her. I wanted to do, like, Mia or Shiba, because both of them are pretty cool. Since she, Mia or Shiba wasn't there yet, I decided, well, I'll just do Jenna. And apparently I also did, like, um, a young woman there. The one where she says, oh, little Felix has gone to the weather and all that. So I actually got both of their roles. And I was, uh, wasn't was too proud of myself, to be honest. For starters, I, got, I had a crappy mic back then <laughs> compared to the one I have now. Um... And I was actually surprised that Magma Bear was actually in it as well. Uh, that And that was around the time that I was uh, contemplating whether I should get a female character or just try to do all the female characters by myself. Probably, you know, don't have a whole lot of uh, uh, female character voices other than uh, Jenna, Dora, and Minardi. Um, it was around that time where, when I uh, heard uh, Rena's uh, voice acting as uh, Jenna, co- compared to like everybody else, she did outstanding. And that, so I thought maybe I can ask uh, uh, her to uh, voice as like Mia and uh, all the other female characters. So I asked her, and well, you accepted. So uh, yeah, so that's how uh, Rena got into the uh, into Golden Sun abridged. So uh, yeah. The next question is, who is your favorite character to voice in your Bridge series? Um, let's see. 
I would probably have to say this one's kind of a I kind of like to voice him as well as I hate to voice him. I really like to voice Garrett because he's really funny, but also at the same time I hate to voice him because he usually uh takes a huge impact uh toll on my uh, vocal cords when I uh when I voice him. So I usually try to voice him last, but he is definitely fun to uh, voice for me. Uh, for me, it, that's, it's kind of obvious. I just like voicing Mia because, like I said, she's one of my favorite characters. And her kindness and her personality, it just suits me doing her, and it's a lot easier. Jenna, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm not much of a fan of her. But I actually did kind of enjoy doing her in um, Atreus's Golden Sun of Root. Um, series. Then I also can't wait to voice Sheba because I just like to do like a mellow tone and all that such. If uh, you could give any advice to any new upcoming abridgers, what advice would that be? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Come up with a huge paragraph on acting, but I'll let Magma Bear go first. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I started, I got like a whole lot of criticism and stuff, stealing from uh, other abridgers, which is true. I didn't have any jokes <laughs> of my own, and uh, I, I just was like, oh, geez, what should I put here? Oh, I know what's funny. This from a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series. No, I, I kind of learned to make up my own jokes, and so what I'm saying is that anybody who feels that they can't do it, you know, that they can't make up their own jokes, uh, that it might be too hard, that I'm just saying that it'll come to you naturally, uh, kind of go on in your series or the more you work at it it, it seems uh, things will start to come a little bit more naturally to you uh, jokes will come to you a little bit more easier that kind of stuff you know uh, where do I even begin well I can't really give out very good advice when it comes to a bridge series like Mac when Bear can but I can say that just have fun with your character and make sure you get the emotion and variety right. Because I know a lot of actors who can be really, really tough out there. And sometimes they're very harsh. So, But don't let that get to you. Because if you're doing it first time, it's normal to be shy. Just have fun. It's, that's what it's really all about. The next question is, where do you get most of your jokes from for your bridge series? Uh, let's see. Sometimes, well, they're very different things. Sometimes I have no idea where the heck I get them, uh, get some of the jokes for the, uh, for my bridge series. Sometimes they just come to me, like, just, like, right on the spot. Like, for example, in my latest, uh, abridged episode, part where they're in the desert and, like, the little, uh, a meter on the side goes uh, goes up. The more uh, uh, Mia talks about uh, her body and stuff, that kind of just came to me right uh, right as I was editing it. Uh, mostly been you know the plot holes. So it can uh, all my jokes kind of uh, come from all sorts of different places. My body turned Alex straight when I wore my swimsuit. Yeah. Oh, it's so. overload. No! <laughs> if you could voice act as any character and say any random line, who would it be and what line? Swimsuit part, because that was like one of my favorite lines, yet difficult ones at the same time. Yeah, I can't really think of anybody uh, right now. Yeah. Wait, what about what about Garrett's lines, especially with the logs? Those oh. have got to be your favorite ones. <laughs> Those are definitely fun to do. those are definitely fun to do. Yeah, especially you know, die, die, die uh, when he's t uh, shouting at the log and stuff. That well, one's that that one is definitely fun. I could come up with another favorite part of mine, but I'm trying to remember which. Oh yeah, it's the part. Um, I think it was episode five as when we get to Kolima or Kolima. I don't know how to pronounce it. Fans, don't I hate me. <laughs> anyway. Don't, yeah, don't worry. I miss I misspelled it in in, <laughs> in the uh -huh. episode anyway. So. All right. So the part where Ivan talks to the tree. Well, it was kind of my idea because at first we we kind of had thought about Garrett doing it, but then I decided that I, it makes more sense if Ivan does it because he does mind readings to like all the animals and stuff. So and trees. So why not that? And then when soon as Garrett says, Ivan, will you come to know this epic creepy? I was like, wow, that's genius right there. If you. If you could pick two abridgers to duke it out at anywhere in the world, who would they be and why? Well, I can't really answer that question because I don't yeah. know too many abridgers besides Magma Bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, I pretty much like the voice actress type who fandoms other games. I don't like fandoming too much anime except Higurashi. Um, would probably have to be uh, Kerbamon and Acerius. Acer uh, Kerbamon's uh, abridges Gintama. And uh, Acerius is uh, 
a bridging uh, gunslinger girl. Oh, uh, the gunslinger been... girl bridge. Those were funny when I saw yours. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think I'd uh, at least like to at least meet them and then uh, duke it out with them. So, yeah, those two guys.